Human remains, apparently of 46 year old Leroy Hillock, a resident of Kamalote Village, Kayo District, was found near the cemetery in Kamalote Village. Love News spoke to Myrtle Banner, the stepmother of the missing man. Well, I haven't seen him since late September. And it wasn't until last night, around 8, that someone called my granddaughter to inform her that the um, skeletal remains were found and supposedly it was um, my my son. His name, ma'am? Um? Leroy Hillock. How old him? He's 46 years old. Ah. At that time, we were unsure and even until now we are still waiting for confirmation because um it was we were told that the bones were scattered okay. so there was no way that um we could possibly identify him he lived with us from he was five years old oh you raised him from five years old he attended primary school, went on to high school at Comprehensive, graduated, and after graduation, he joined the police department. He was there for some, for some years, after which he, he resigned. He was always in the neighborhood. He was um, a very dependable person. Yes, ma'am. Um, and he was the uh, the kind of person who would do um he was handy yes, in handy the area handy. right because he's a man he can handle his machete he can he does really um every little thing right yeah how this name came about by the name of kittle <laughs> <laughs> he got that name when he was a little when he was a little boy Yes, ma'am. And I think that was before he came to live with us that he liked, there was this um, little song from him um, that played on the radio in that children's program, yes, I'm a Little Teapot. And, okay. and they say he used to dance. <laughs> oh, man. He used to dance to that song, and that was how he ended up with that name. Uh -huh. Okay, briefly, um, since um, apparently the bucket was missing for quite a while in the in this community, the, at me and at the, I think no one keep track of his uh, his whereabout until apparently this decomposed or remains of human was found. Yes, because he ended up moving to live in Roaring Creek with somebody, and. But he would come up often. Okay. He would come up to check, and so I, I really don't know what happened. This is Bella Fem Cruz, Kaya correspondent, reporting for Love FM.